Austin, uh, generally speaking, this season, uh, you know, when you guys have been relatively healthy and approached a game, you know, with uh, with you know, proper rest and health and such, uh, you've been able to beat most of the good teams in the league. Where where's the frustration level uh, about not just this game, but going back to last week against Sacramento and, and losing both of those? Uh, I mean, those are both two big games. Um, you know, obviously against a really good opponent that, um, you know. We had an opportunity, you know, this past you know week and a half to, you know, climb the standings, and uh, they're a team that's you know right ahead of us by a couple games or uh, a little larger now. So um, those are missed opportunities, but it's in the past. When you proceed from this now, you just kind of you can't do anything about the standings in terms of with this team. How does that sense of urgency take up, in, I guess, compared to last season when you guys were in a familiar place and now you're kind of scratching and clawing trying to get out of that 9-10 spot? Yeah, I mean, you just got to uh, buckle down and um, take every game as a must win. And, um, yeah, basically just approach approach it like that um, and, you know, go put our best foot forward and try to win, you know, every game we play. Uh, Austin, they made 19 threes. I believe they hit 46% of their threes. Just, were you seeing any common threads in the breakdowns that led to those shots? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, they got guys that can really shoot the ball. Um, and, you know, Harrison Barnes goes sef- 7 for 11. Keegan Murray goes 5 for 10. And, you know, I, I mean – there's multiple probably breakdowns that we had where we gave up one, but one that stands out to me was, you know, I, I messed up one with probably five minutes left in the fourth. Uh, and Keegan Murray got a wide open three, or it was either Keegan Murray or Harrison Barnes got a wide open three on the right wing, and uh, it was totally, you know, my fault. But, you know, like I said, this game's in the past now. Five games over 500. Um, you know, this is one night like you guys – the vibes were excellent on Sunday, but I guess what is like sort of an appropriate level of concern after a performance like this? Um, you know, how quickly do you flush it, um, and how quickly do you look at this stuff and like say like we really need to zero in on X, Y, and Z? Um. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do about this game now. Uh, besides watch and learn, you know, from our mistakes and what we can do um, to be better, you know, especially in that third quarter, you know, 17 points, uh, you know, something had to get stagnant with our offense. Uh, but uh, I don't think the the vibe, you know, in the locker rooms really, you know, change, you know. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, it's not like we, you know, hate each other now. I mean, as you flip the page and, like I said, you got to figure out what we want, got to do to, you know, be successful moving forward. Um, and like I said, that's in the past. Last one. Um, you started the game uh, phenomenally. I think you had 13 of the first 15 points of the team, high percentage. Um, what happened in the rest of the game? Did they make it very hard on you? Did something mentally in you change? You didn't finish or you didn't continue with the same success that you started. Um. I'm not someone that's going to go out and shoot every ball. Uh, you know, I try to play the game the right way. And early in the game, the shots was there for me, and I made them. Uh, I went 10 for 17 from the field. Uh, that's not – I don't think that's bad. So I don't really know really what you're asking or kind of implying uh, after, you know, the quick start. But, you know, we lost, and that's all that matters. Thanks, Austin.